Safety alert from the FDA. In April, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration issued what they call a drug safety communication. This is a nationwide alert to let all prescribing doctors know of a new potential issue. As it pertains to breastfeeding moms, the FDA has recommended that we not prescribe medicines that contain codeine or tramadol. These are medications like hydrocodone, Vicodin, Lortab, Norco, Percocet, and Ultram. These are fairly commonly used medications after delivery, particularly for C-sections to help take care of pain, but even after vaginal delivery sometimes. The concern that has been brought up by the FDA is that there are some potential major problems for babies of moms who nursed while taking these medications. There have been reports of excessive sleepiness and even death of some newborns after moms took these medications. Now, it's not a problem for everyone, and certainly lots of people have taken these medications with no apparent problems. However, the FDA thought it was a big enough risk that they should change the labeling on medications prescribed. So I think we need to take this seriously. And I'm trying to do my part now in my practice every day and explain this to patients. So I want to get the information out there to everyone so you're aware as well. The concern is that some people metabolize these medications very rapidly. They're called ultra-rapid metabolizers. And the problem is that the active metabolites, the, the chemical compounds that your body makes the medication into from the liver and release into your bloodstream, in some people these things happen very rapidly, which means also that the amount of these active metabolites gets into the breast milk very rapidly and in much higher levels than in people who are not ultra metabolizers. Now the problem is we don't know who's who. So the safer bet is just don't use them. And that's been my practice for about the last two months. Um, there are other medications that can be used, uh, most of which are not even narcotic. So particularly for vaginal deliveries and even for some C-section patients, I'm finding that if we send them home on a combination of non-steroidals like ibuprofen or Motrin at prescription dose, and Tylenol, that for a lot of people, that does the job. Now, it's not gonna work for everyone. Some people are definitely gonna need something stronger. Uh, the good news is there are other medications that can be prescribed that are not in the same class, uh, but are powerful pain medications. They still need to be used with caution, but hopefully not to the same extent as the ones we're talking about today. So, some other medications out there, hydromorphone is an example. It's a morphine derivative. Uh, you may have heard of it uh, called Dilaudid. Now, it's a strong pain medication, but you can prescribe it in small doses and you can only take it in low doses and only if you have to. It looks like that's probably a safer bet than the more commonly prescribed medications like Percocet and Norco. So if you have questions about this, talk to your doctor. Uh, if you have comments, please put them down in the link. And if you have further questions, check out our website. That'll be listed below. Thanks for watching.